Hey guys, Jangro here, and welcome back to my Craftoria world. We moved to this meteorite for a reason, which is to start as early as possible on Applied Energistics 2, and that's to avoid the chest monster that is already forming. So in this episode, we are going to do that. We're going to get a quick start, the quickest start possible in Applied Energistics 2. I have plans for turning this meteorite into a base. I have an AE2 base that's going to involve a lot of glass. I know there's a lot of hate out there for Applied Energistics 2, and I want to dispel that. Let's make a quick storage system. Before we dive deeper into AE2, let me take a moment to thank our sponsor, Apex Hosting. You know, with the seasons passing so quickly in this world, it's a reminder that time on a server doesn't stop when you log off. That's one of the things about having an always-on server. Your world keeps running even when you're not there, so your friends can join while you're not playing. Apex makes it easy to set up your own Minecraft server with one-click mod pack installation, so you can get started with Craftoria or any mod pack without the hassle of port forwarding. Plus, their 24-7 tech support is always there to help you keep your server running smoothly, whether you need help with backups or mod pack updates. Please use my link jangrocom slash apex. It supports the channel and gets your server up and running in just a few minutes. Thanks for your support. Okay, well, like I said before, time on a server does not stop. I went away after the intro, come back to the middle of winter. So that's a little annoying that we're dealing with snow here, but here's the plan. I want to chop the top of that meteorite off and then fill in this whole crater here with black glass floor. It's kind of make an applied energistics building. I didn't want to make this episode about mechanism, but I did set up a couple things here. One is this sawmill to get sawdust so I can make the die base. Whoa. Okay. Well, I guess we can see here that creepers can't blow up mechanism stuff. So that's good. Anyway, back to what we were saying. I also made this pigment extractor and a painting machine because I want to turn all of this glass into black stained glass. Now we can use an ink sack to make two dye and two dyes can make 16 black stained glass. But if we put the ink sacks in here directly, they turn into black pigment, which is just getting straight extracted into the painting machine. We can put glass right in here. And I won't go through all the math, but from one ink sack, we can get 24 black glass instead of 16. Definitely worthwhile. This is a pretty easy thing to set up. So I'm gonna let this run, get all the black glass. Listen to that though, that's like spray paint sound. That's pretty cool. Now, so what I wanna do is kind of flatten out this meteorite at about this level right here, which should get us a nice big floor and the hole in the middle with our Certus Quartz blocks in there. We can use our mining gadget for that, but man, is this going to be slow. So I'm going to clear this out. We'll get all the black glass we need, hopefully, and I'll flatten this thing out and I'll be right back. Okay, well, this took longer than I expected, but it did not take long enough because we're still in the winter, which is why I've had to span torches around here. But here's what I've done. Just made a bunch of this glass, painted it black, dug out the top of this meteor, which takes a very long time. Just used my mining gadget. I've turned the sky stone into some sky stone bricks, made some stairs. Here is our Certus Quartz production. So we're getting lots of Certus Quartz here. Keep harvesting this so it continues to grow. As it does grow, it's going to degrade and turn into just regular Certus Quartz block, which, and what we're gonna end up is just with flawless budding Certus Quartz, which is just fine. That's all we need. I think we've got two flawless here. My plan here is to bring some power down here from our mechanism power. And I guess we're going to need to put a roof on this thing eventually, but I wanted to make this kind of cool structure, maybe extend the, all of these pillars upwards and make kind of a crystal castle. But I wanted to get a nice floor down here. I think the colored applied energistics two cables, I think will look pretty cool underneath all this glass. But our goal for the rest of the video is to just get a quick ME storage system up and running from Applied Energistics 2. All right, I want to stay far enough away from the mechanism machines because the they're noisy. If you're in a mod pack like Craftoria, you'll have a, maybe a quest book to follow here. Our goal is to quickly get to some ME storage. So we have a searchable storage system. There's lots more you can do with Applied Energistics, auto crafting. I think in this pack, there's even some additional mods that extend Applied Energistics. We'll get to all those things eventually. The first thing you're going to craft with Applied Energistics 2 is, an, is a charger. And if you don't have power, you need a hand crank. So let's just make one of those quickly too. And with the compass, you can make a meteorite compass if you happen to have not found a meteorite. If you put a, let's see, let's drop this right here. You put a hand crank on top and 
a compass inside and charge that thing up like this. There you go. We have a compass. Let's just, because I'd already found the mysterious cube and all the presses. And I'm going to take this one because we'll get a wrench. And there we go. We've started Applied Energistics 2. The basic materials that we need for Applied Energistics 2 is Certus Quartz, which we will charge to get charged Certus Quartz, iron, copper, but we need quartz. So before we get too much farther, let's just get ourselves into the nether so we can we can just get, get some quartz going here. So quick trip. All right, quick trip into the nether. Let's see what we've got. Okay, a warp forest. This is good news for Endermen, but not so much for quartz. Here we go. What? All right. Did I make these guys mad? Is that what happened? I didn't even know what they were. Yeah. I have apparently angered Enderman. Okay. That's a warped forest, Enderman. Okay. All right, well. Let's get an Ender Pearl. Glowstone as well. In the... Enrichment chamber, quartz will, yeah, we'll get six times quartz. We've got enough for now. Where's my portal, though? This is actually a really good world, nether world gen. Okay, let's go. Let's get this nether quartz going here. Okay, to get power down to our AE2 area, we need to make some more basic universal cables. And let's go down here under the ground. There we go. Now with this wrench, we can break, we can shift right click on things and break them. Now I'm not sure about this, but let's, let's see if we can charge the charger with directly with cable. We might need the energy acceptor. You do need an energy acceptor to, to generally run power into an ME network. The charger may be unique that it pulls in power directly. Let's see. It does. Now we can use the hand crank on this if we wanted to, but you can see it's it's keeping its power stored. So this is how we get charged Certus Quartz. You can see that it charges up and changes what it looks like. It's got some animation on it. We'll just get a bunch of charged Certus Quartz. The initial stuff is pretty manual, but we'll get to a place where we're automating. Keep sleeping these nights away so we're out, we can get out of the winter as quickly as possible. All right, the last basic resource that we need is Fluix. And you get that by putting charged Cirrus Quartz Crystal, Nether Quartz, and Redstone Dust in water. And so we just throw these things, literally, into the water. And we're going to get 28 because the charged Cirrus Quartz we had 28 of. And now we've got Fluix Crystals, and it doubles it. So we got 56 of those. So these are our raw materials. Now, with these, we can make all the rest of the things. The next thing on the list is to make an inscriber. There's an extended ex inscriber in this pack, but we're not. We're just going to work with the basic stuff here for now. Um, we need a couple pistons for this and an inscriber. I think we can just also put the inscriber. Yep, it's powered here with just regular power. Anything that has ME on it, so we're going to get like to an ME drive like this ME drive right here. We'll be building that today. Anything with ME in the name, I believe needs to be powered through Applied Energistics, through Fluix Cable, bringing power in with the Energy Acceptor. These initial machines can just be powered through any FE power means. The Inscriber can be used to make dust. You just drop Certus Quartz Crystal right in here and it will give us Certus Quartz dust. And we do need quite a bit of that. And also use the Crusher for this as well. All right, let's go ahead and make an energy acceptor for which we need quartz glass and quartz glass comes from Certus Quartz Dust and any glass. And let's make some Fluix cable too. Okay, so now we can make some quartz fiber and some Fluix glass cable. We're going to need an ME drive. And for that, we need engineering processors. Engineering processors are made with diamonds with an engineering press in the inscriber. 
Now we're going to see how to use the inscriber to make processors. Put the energy acceptor down right here. We just need one of these on our network and this will provide all the power we need in our ME network. Okay, so to make processors, we need to smelt Certus Quartz dust into silicon. And then in an inscriber, we can take an engineering press, put diamonds in here with an engineering press. Logic press for a logic circuit requires gold and calculation press requires Certus Quartz. Now we have these two printed engineering circuits. We need silicon press in here. So we'll put our two silicon and we'll get two printed silicon. And then we put silicon printed engineering circuit and redstone and those three things in the inscriber will turn into engineering processors. And that is basically how you make any of the three different types of processors using the base materials, the appropriate press, and then mixing them, them together with silicon press and redstone. Now we can make an ME drive. And to go into an ME drive, we need a disk. We'll just make a 1K ME item storage cell to demonstrate with. For that, we need a 1K storage component. We need a logic processor for this. And logic processor is gold with the exact same process. Logic press with gold. To get our printed silicon, printed logic circuit, printed silicon, redstone gives us a logic processor. And now we can make a 1K ME storage component and we can turn that into a 1K ME item storage cell like this. Now 1K storage cell is not very big. It'll demonstrate what we're doing here. So we put an ME drive down right here. That's connected to the energy acceptor. So that is online. Now we right click and put the storage cell in here. And we have 1000 bytes of storage and each cell can only hold up to 63 types. It's kind of like a chest that has slots. So the final thing that we need here is a crafting terminal. So we have access to the storage. For that, we need a calculation processor, crafting table, and an ME terminal. ME terminals need these things here, logic processors, formation cores, and annihilation cores, more logic processors. Fluix dust, which we get by putting Fluix in the inscriber. So let's count these things up that we need. We need one calculation processor, one logic processor, two logic processors, three logic processors. Oh, good thing we got glowstone. Okay, we need three logic processors. We need three logic processors and one calculation processor. Okay, so there's our three logic processors. Calculation processor. We are going to need some Fluix dust. Get that going. Illuminated panel. Formation core. There's the dust we need. We're close. Annihilation. Formation core. Annihilation core. Two of those. ME terminal, perfect. ME crafting terminal, there we go. I always go straight to a crafting terminal so we can not only access the inventory, but we can craft with it. All right, let's put down a Lux cable right here. Put our crafting terminal right here. It is online. Now we have a terminal that we can just store stuff in here. Amazing. And we can see here that our drive is now, it's now filling up with types of things. So each unique type of thing, it takes up one of these 63 slots. So that's going to get filled up pretty quickly, especially if we put in non-stackable items like tools and armor. But let's put a bunch of this stuff in here. There you go. Get it. Holding all these things. But just with that 1K storage cell. And so we'll just continue to make more storage cells. We can make bigger storage cells up to 256K. And I think some of these other mods are probably going to give us bigger ones. Yeah, there's these mega cells. There's a bulk item storage cell from other mods. There's a mega cells mod, which gives us much bigger storage cells. And there you go. Basic ME storage with Applied Energistics 2 obviously got a lot to go and make this storage much, much bigger. This is going to solve all our storage issues. I think that'll do it for this video. Hope this was useful. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I appreciate you.